Welcome back, everybody, to the channel. It's me, Alejandro Mendoza, or the Nero Chicano. Either way, how you say it, it's all good here. And we're back again for another video. And as you can tell, once again, I am not at my office, but I am at my apartment here. And I think you already know why. Last month, Kino Lorber had their annual Kino Spring Sale, and I decided I wanted to participate. And today I'm going to be bringing you all a nice little haul video since I got all my orders in. And I wanted to, you know, first of all say thank you all so much for the love on the channel. I know it's been kind of weird lately. Uh, been kind of in the midst of a lot of things and I had to, you know, just take a little break. And I'm going to be back in action in the next couple of weeks, next week. So just stay tuned for all the videos. And of course, I want to thank you all so much for the love on them. But also, if you're new here, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and make sure that you click that notification bell so you don't miss a single piece of content on the channel. Make sure that you leave a like on this video as it helps it out a lot. And of course, if you want to lend an extra helping hand, you can go over to patreon.com slash the Chicano and sign up for a tier for early access and video essays. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this nice Kino Lorber spring sale haul video so before i you know actually start with the haul i wanted to let you all know like i don't really have a lot of kino titles i only have um of course andrew tarkovsky's the sacrifice and then i got this one from a old professor of mine who had you know multiple copies so he decided to just you know give me this one and he said i could keep it so it's i wake up screaming from director h bruce Humberstone, and it is a film noir and i wanted to just show you all this one nothing too you know uh special here uh no no uh no booklet or anything it has a film inside there um as i noticed most of these are going to be like that there's not going to be any booklets or anything except for uh, tarkovsky's um it does have a nice little booklet right here um this is the two disc set but um yeah these are the only two titles i own from kino lorber and i wanted to just you know expand my library and i decided to pick up um, five titles and one of them is a 4k from them but before that these were my only two titles that i even owned from kino lorber so let's go ahead and actually start looking at these titles i picked up the first title i picked up was a film that was distributed by Kino Lorber. It's not one of their studio classic lines, but it is a film that they distributed and I went ahead and I picked it up during the sale because I really like this film. And it is a film from Brazil that was one of my favorite films of the year that it was released. I'm talking about Bacujal from director Cleber uh, Mendoza Filho and Juliano Dognelis. Dognelis. Yeah. Um, really good brazilian western film it's so good y'all i highly recommend this film and i can't wait to rewatch it and put a review up on the channel for it but um nothing too you know fancy just disc and the and the um and the casing but fantastic film and it is a highly recommended highly recommended film i hope you all pick this up because this is such a good film or watch it at least because this movie is fantastic the next film that I picked up was a film that I just did an episode for the cinema condition that my patrons are actually able to watch this episode early before anybody else can watch it. And it is a film that I really liked when I watched it. And I said, hey, it's $8 on the Kino screen sale. I'm just going to pick it up. I'm talking about Annie Lily Amipour's A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night. This is another one of those... Uh, you know, distributed by Kino Lorber, not really um, Kino Studio Classics, but it's a really good film and I just had to keep it in my collection. I thought it was just so good and I wanted just to have it in here. So, yeah, this was my second uh, film that I picked up. Well, you know, it's part of my second order, but I put them in, in alphabetical order for, for the video purposes. But this is the second one in my uh, five uh, titles that I picked up. And the next one is actually a... Kino Studio Classics. It is a movie that I'm using as uh, a point of reference for my next short film. It is one of my favorite westerns of all time. I'm talking about 
Ida Lupino's The Hitchhiker on Blu-ray. So this is one of those um, uh, studio classics. And it's a pretty good, pretty good movie. I really like this movie. I watched a really you know, rough DVD copy of this when I first watched it. So I couldn't um, pass up on the Blu-ray of it because I wanted to see what the transfer is going to look like. But of course, all of these films are going to get a review later on in the in the year and I can't wait to watch this film but really good movie with Frank Lovejoy, Armand O'Brien and William Tellman. It's uh, Ida Lupino's The Hitchhiker. The next film I picked up was my 4K title and I, I looked at the 4K line and there was like some that I really wanted like Eternal Sunshine the Spotless Mind, um, The Killing, 12 Angry Men but I wanted to get something that wasn't going to break my bank really but that would introduce me to Kino's 4K line and I really wanted to try it out so I went ahead and I picked up a film from Stanley Kubrick and that is his second film he's ever made, Killer's Kiss. Now this is really cool because this is the one that comes with the slip and I really like this slip from uh, Kino Lorber but just remove that and pretty much the same artwork, no different artwork on the back it's just the same thing and you open it up and you just get the 4k disc so yeah this is the 4k ultra hd release of stanley kubrick's killer's kiss it is one of his film noirs it is the second film he's ever made and yeah i'm just really excited to watch this one because um i really wanted to get something that would you know be from a director that i know and i like but would introduce me to Kino Lorber's 4K work and I thought a Kubrick film was a no-brainer for me. I know I own The Killing on Criterion and in The Killing you actually get this film in that um, in that release but I said hey I want to I want a separate release and I wanted to get the 4K so that's why I picked up Killer's Kiss from Stanley Kubrick. And for my final title I wanted to go ahead and finally complete my Andrei Tarkovsky collection and I know if Criterion ends up putting the sacrifice and this film in their um, lineup I'll end up double dipping and upgrading those but to be fair I don't think it's going to happen I think it took a while for Mirror to show up on Criterion and that one was already uh, kind of hard to get so I said you know what I'm just going to buy these because it's a director that I love and I went ahead and I picked up Nostalgia from Andrei Tarkovsky and this is on blu-ray and this is his film that he made in italy and it's just a really good film that i watched online actually on canopy i think uh no no actually it was on criterion channel when it was on there and since then i haven't watched it so i'm really interested to see what this looks like on blu-ray it's a brand new uh, mastered in hd from the archival 35 millimeter film elements so it's not a um, 4k digital restoration like the sacrifice but it is a really good movie it is one of my favorites from Andrei Tarkovsky even though I don't think it's like as great as all of his other films but it is a really good movie from him and I wanted just to pick it up to finally have it in my collection and finally finish it up so um, stay tuned for a review of this because we are going to be headed into a retrospective of Andrei Tarkovsky's films so we're going to look at all of his films that I haven't discussed yet. So basically everything except Mirror. But that concludes the haul, y'all. That's all of the films that I picked up during this Kino Lorber spring sale. But in the meantime, um, I'll go ahead and show you the full Kino collection here, actually. This is all of my Kino collection. This is all of the Kino stuff, but... I'm excited to go ahead and review these films and I'm excited to talk about them because um, Kino is a really good line as from what I can tell from what I bought before. So I wanted to go ahead and pick up some of these films and finally open my library to Kino Lorber. Stay tuned for all of these reviews and I can't wait to talk about them for y'all because these, movie look, these movies look really good and I can't wait to watch them. I'll stop my rambling. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that I just can't wait to watch these movies and review them for y'all because Kino Lorber is a pretty good line from what I've heard and I can't wait to experience them with 
all of these titles that I have. Of course, if you'd like to keep up to date with me on all things social media, make sure you follow me at the Nerd Chicano on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Serialized Letterbox, and on Twitch. I'm the same handle on all of them at the Nerdy Chicano. Of course, keep up to date with all the things that we're doing on the Nerdcore by checking us out at the Nerdcore.com, the Nerdcore on YouTube and Twitch, and the Nerdcore underscore on Twitter. Check us out, y'all. We're doing a lot of really cool stuff over there. And of course, y'all, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more videos about, you know, Kino Lorber, about Criterion, physical media in general, and maybe you like these haul videos, make sure that you're sticking along with the ride here by subscribing. But without further ado, y'all, to my wonderful cinephiles and renowned scholars, celebrate the love of cinema today, tomorrow, and every day after. Catch you all in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.